Yo guys, what's up? This is Scummers from Mini Dogs coming back at you with Discord.py episode 8. And today we're going to be doing some moderation commands. So, before we dive into that, let's just check out our episode 7 code. And so, the answer to our question from last episode was actually this In the command group decorator, you had to put invoke without command set to true. And that's essentially replacing our if that we had in here. Except instead of actually running the command, it just fails to run, which is what we need in order to uh, get everything working. So now jumping into episode 8, you'll notice straight away that there's something different. Whereas in episode 7, we just put the name in here ourselves. In episode 8, we have this thing called self dot underscore underscore class underscore underscore dot underscore underscore name underscore underscore. Bit of a mouthful, but trust me, there's a reason for that. Essentially what this does is it looks at self, which is every class has to have a self. It looks at the class, which is this moderation here, and it looks at the name. So essentially this is going to be the same as us saying moderation cog has been loaded, except it's a lot more dynamic. So if you change the class name, it'll change with it. So it's just something else you don't have to worry about. And so then starting off today, we're just going to be making a simple command for kicking someone from the guild. And if we want to kick someone from our guild, well, we have to make sure it's actually in the guild first. And, you know, we probably want the person who's running the command to uh, have some permissions, right? And make sure they can actually, you know, kick the person rather than just run the command and get the bot to do it for them. So what we're going to pass in here is ban underscore members equals true. And then we're going to go async, def, kick, self, CTX, and then we're going to type a member argument, which we're going to type into discord.member. So this will convert it for us. And then we're also going to take a reason argument. Now, we don't need a reason to kick someone, but, you know, it's always helpful. And then, quite simply put, we're just going to go await ctx.guild.kick. We're going to have user equals member, reason equals reason. Now, that's actually all we need to complete this command. But I kind of want to log things, you know, so I want to know who, who's kicked them. So down here, we're going to set up some logging. So we're going to go channel equals self dot bot dot get underscore channel. Then we need an ID. So let's just jump over into Discord. I'll pull this up and across. You notice this is my own guild now, just because I want to play around with banning things a bit easier on. Now let's let's log recording and go log channel. So we're just going to copy the ID for this channel. Jump back in here. Now we've got the ID. Then we're going to go bid equals Discord dot embed title. It's going to equal an f string containing the author of our uh, command so we, we know who kicked and then we need to know who they kicked so we're just going to go member.name and then we're going to set the description description it would be nice to type into that description equals reason so now that's all we need to do we're going to go await channel.send embed equals embed so why don't we go check that out and then we'll come back and we'll make our ban command. So, let's just attempt to load this up. Cool. That appears to be all working fine. We've got into uh, Discord, so we'll just jump up here. And then, provided I remember my own prefix, we're just going to jump in here. And I'm sorry, buddy, but um, you're going to have to go. Now, this is our member log here. Is telling us goodbye and then you'll notice here it said uh, skimmers kicked Alpha Foxtrot Romeo but there's no description to that what if I wanted a reason well we'll just pop up here and I will just uh, invite him back to the guild and then we can kick him again and this time we can provide a reason for kicking him although apparently my invites are currently taking a while to load
So while that's dying in the background, we'll jump back in the code and, you know, change it up a bit. So let's make our band command. So what do we want for this? Well, I kind of want the same things. But I also want to just make sure that, well, that's it actually. So let's just put our band command in. Async diff ban. And then we're going to go self ctx a member again. And again, we're going to type in this to member. We need a reason for this. Well, we don't need a reason, but it's nice to have a reason. And then quite simply put, we're just going to go await ctx.guild because ban and guild, guild uh, kick and ban operate off a guild object. And then we're just going to go user equals member reason equals reason. Now, same as before, I'm just going to copy this code over here. So I want to, you know, log it. I want to, I want to check who's banned or who's kicked. And so now that we've set this up, why don't we run this and make sure this is working. So we'll just jump back over into Discord. You notice my good friend is back now. So I want to go kick. Wait for this nice, lovely truck outside to drive past and we go kick. Goodbye, laddie. And then you'll notice that it comes up with the reason this time. So, what if I want to ban someone? Oof. Gone. Now, same again. No reason, but you understand how that works. But what if I want to unban someone? Well, you can go up to server settings, go to bans, click on this, click revoke. But that's an awfully long process. I don't want to have to go through every single time I want to, you know, unban someone. So why don't we make an unban command? At command, stop command. And then, well, quite simply put, we're just going to copy this over, actually. It's exactly the same. Async, def, unban, self, self D, <laughs> ctx. But this is where it gets tricky. We don't type print it here because Discord normally fails to type in things internally. Now, in an upcoming episode, we're going to make our own converter um, sort of system where it tries to type in something within the command and then if that fails, it's going to fetch the user and if that fails, it's going to raise some arguments such as bad argument and fail to fetch things. But currently, just to keep it simple for you guys, we're going to take the user ID and just fetch the user every time. But in an upcoming episode, I'll put it to you guys that we're going to build our own system for doing this rather than just needing to fetch user because quite well, simply put, fetch user takes an ID and that's not the best thing. I'm sure it works, but what if you want to provide the name? So we're going to build our type hinting system in a few episodes time, which allows you to just uh, improve upon this code, you know, make it better. But for now, we're just going to go member equals await self dot bot dot fetch underscore user. Make sure this is an integer and then just go member. And then I just want to go await ctx dot guild dot unban. And then we're going to go member reason equals reason. So yes, unban does take a uh, reason argument and then we're just going to copy across our mod logs from here and we're going to go unbanned so you can probably see a pretty reoccurring uh, thought process here now that my uh, old mate here is back in the guild let's just copy his id real quick and then we can uh, prove that we can unban him so let's just go ban sorry you were interrupting the episode. Don't mind my spelling, that's why Discord has autocorrect. So we're gonna ban him. He's gone. We can jump up here, just you know, check, look, he is banned. But then what if I go unban and I put his ID in here? Well, nothing popped up here. But it says it's unbanned him, right? So let's go have a look in the server settings. <gasps> it's unbanned him. Wow, would you look at that? So that's essentially how you do your moderation commands. 
But for an added benefit, we're going to chuck a purge command in here. That way we can clean up our chat whenever we want to. So we're just going to go and copy these over. But we're going to change our guild permissions from ban underscore members to manage underscore not messages, our uh, members, messages. And then we're just going to go async def purge. It's going to take self ctx and an amount which we're going to default to 15. Now what we're going to do here is we're just going to go await ctx.channel dot purge in the end in here we're just going to go limit equals amount plus one. Now you might be wondering why we want to put a um you know limit on this and put plus one on that. It's just uh, it doesn't delete everything. Um, if you don't provide a limit, as far as I'm aware, there is a cap of about 100. Um, but we're also going to go amount plus one because you want to delete 15 messages, right? Well, when you send the command going uh, hyphen purge, that actually counts as message as well, believe it or not, you know, <laughs> you know, you know. So we need to delete 16 messages there. So we're just going to go amount plus one. And then, as always, we want to keep track of our purge. So I'm going to copy this part over, and we're going to change what's actually in the embed itself. We're going to go title equals another extra string here. Still want to know who uh, ran the command, but I should probably put the channel in there, you know. So that's cool and all. But then what are we going to put in the description? Well. Another F string. F string. Puts it in uh, square brackets. How many messages were purged? Well, simple way to put that in there. We've got the amount. And then we're just going to go away. Channel.send embed equals embed. So let's pop over to Discord and uh, check out the command running, shall we? So then, if we go help, bam. Now we can see all our uh, moderation commands here. Ban, get purge, unban. So if I want to purge one, you know, so it gets rid of the help command and me calling the command. Whereas I'll actually just show the cases for you guys to prove why I'm doing it. So let's jump under here and uh, let's get rid of this plus one, shall we? Now I just jump back under here. Now I want to, I want to get rid of that help command being called. This is purge one. Well, it, it just, it, it worked. It said one message was cleared, but it didn't actually clear this message. So to clear this, you actually have to do two purge call, uh, a purge call of plus one, or you can, you can just go uh, await ctx.message.delete, but I personally like this way because it goes through and it deletes them anyway. Now the challenge from this episode is going to be can you make it so that this works across guilds? Because currently this is only set to one single guild because we've hard coded the IDs in. So using your knowledge of the JSON system from our blacklisting commands and all the other episodes, can you build it so it's dynamic, so it works across guilds? That uh, You can have two guilds, so if they both run the purge command, it'll send it to a log channel in their guild. Think of it as using the guild ID in the JSON file as a key and then within that you want to have another dictionary and then you have the key saying um, mod logs or something and then the value is the channel ID and then in here you can replace this with say um, data ctx.guild.id and then mod logs and that'll get you the ID for that channel to fetch just you know something like that it's up to you guys to implement it however you want and then make your own command for changing the mod, mod logs channel so you might go mod logs is a command and then it sets the current channel the command was running as your mod log channel otherwise that's all for this episode so peace out guys and happy coding